Oh, look at that car. Look at that. We're at the Nixon Library commemorating 9-11 and look at what just drove in here. What year? What year? What year? Beautiful, man. You're going to be on my channel tomorrow. That thing's awesome. What's your channel? OC Motivator. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. And in today's video, I'm going to share this letter I received from Fiat Chrysler regarding the new enhanced security feature for the Dodge Chargers and Challengers. But first, we got to roll that intro. It's approaching 100 degrees today, so we're going to shoot this video in the car. Alright, so if you've done any research online or watched my old uh, two serious things you need to know about the Dodge Challengers and Chargers video, you learned that these cars are highly susceptible to getting stolen and frankly one of the most favorite cars of car thieves. And those of you who own other brands who blame Dodge for not having good security on their cars, it's no different than any other security on any other car. It's just the thieves like these cars more and for good reason I like them more so they get stolen more often that's just something we have to accept when we own this car the sad thing is is that sometimes some of you get your car stolen and there are some new features now coming and frankly should be here any day now that will help protect your car and I got a letter from FCA from Chrysler telling me when and how this is gonna happen and I'm gonna share that letter with you now but first I got to find some shade Okay, let's first talk about what this is. Dodge is calling it an enhanced security feature that's basically a reprogramming of your PCM on your car that will enable you to go in to your drive modes if your car has that feature and select valet mode and then it'll allow you to select enhanced valet mode. And enhanced valet mode will basically drop the, the horsepower of the car down to 2.8 horsepower basically turning your Dodge Charger or Challenger into a Chevy Camaro. Making our cars fairly impossible to steal. They won't get very far and they certainly won't get very far very quickly. And that's an awesome idea that they had and they came up with it a long time ago. It's just taken forever for them to implement this. They've been vague about the dates it would be available and many of us thought it was gonna be a lot earlier. And then recently I read on Motorious that it would be available on August 16th. So August 16th, I didn't hear anything. Last week, I received this letter from FCA, Fiat Chrysler, saying that it was available for my 2021 Dodge Charger Scat Pack. The thing is, is when I read on Metorius, here's what I found out. If you have a 2020, it's not going to be available. If you have an earlier model from 2015 up, it's not going to be available probably for another month, maybe longer, for them to be able to install it on your car. And basically what they're gonna do is make it available for the 2020, and then maybe six weeks after that, make it available for the 2019, and maybe six weeks after that, make it available for the 18s, and at some point, make it available for all these cars, hopefully. Based on the track record this last year of just threatening to make it available, and then it not being available, and then when they said it would be available and then suddenly it's available but it's only available if you have a brand new car um, I wouldn't have my hopes real high that it's gonna be something that happens really quickly but the good news is that it's coming the bad news is is that I got this letter saying it was available for my car and I did exactly what it says I'll read the letter to you we are offering security improvements on certain 2021 Dodge Charger vehicles equipped with the 6.2 liter or 6.4 liter engine this update is a modification to the existing valet mode in the performance pages application. When enabled, the feature will limit engine output and RPM to reduce vehicle mobility to enhance vehicle security. See the next page for full details on how to engage valet mode. 
FCA US will update your vehicle free of charge, software and labor. To do this, your dealer will reprogram the powertrain control module. The estimated update time is 30 minutes. In addition, your dealer will require your vehicle for proper check-in, preparation and check-out during your visit, which may require more time. Your time is important to us, so we recommend that you schedule a service appointment to minimize your inconvenience. Please bring this letter with you to your dealership. So I did. I set an appointment, went to the local Dodge dealership. They at first had no clue what I was talking about. They put my VIN number in, they came back and said, oh yeah, no problem, bring it in and we'll reprogram your PCM and then you'll have that feature. Awesome, took it in, dropped it off, left. About 30 minutes later, they called saying, oh, your car already has it. So you didn't need to drop it off. It's already there since your car is brand new. I was like, cool, thank you so much, and I left pretty impressed. I went in and tried to program it via my valet mode, and it's not there. It doesn't exist. So they were wrong, and that's okay. It's a new feature. I don't blame them. I'm not criticizing them. It's just tough when a letter goes out saying, go do this, and then I blow time to get this done. That's a little irritating. So I called a couple other Dodge dealers that did know about it at least, but said that they currently don't have the ability to install it yet, and they're hoping it happens any day now. But again, it's only gonna be on the 2021s. This feature is not going to solve all the problems when it comes to anti-theft, but in the future, they're saying they're going to have a key programming lockdown feature, probably next year sometime. The only problem with that is, is if you lose your key or destroy your key, and you need to buy a new key, you'll also have to buy a new module to have installed in your car every time, any time that that happens. They're also saying they're coming out with a new intrusion module that will set off the alarm and disable the car if the car suddenly ends up on an incline as though it's being towed, which will be a great feature, also a glass breaking feature. So they're taking necessary steps to make these cars less susceptible to being stolen, which I believe is a great thing. I just wish it would finally go through because I didn't have to waste my time at the dealership yesterday. But nonetheless, I'm gonna keep trying to get this thing updated so that I can show you all what it does and how it works and hopefully be one of the first ones that actually has it. So I will keep on pushing to get this done. And if you own a 2021, start calling your deal local dealership so they'll put some pressure on Fiat Chrysler to get this update delivered to them so they can start installing them on our cars because the sooner they start getting them on the 2021s, the sooner they'll start putting them on the 2020s and the older cars and then reducing the auto theft, which I believe will be a great thing for all of us who own these cars who live in a fairly perpetual state of some level of paranoia that the car is going to disappear from the driveway, work, or somewhere else someday. So that's basically all the information I have on this, and I'll keep you all up to date and informed, and I do believe this will be a great thing, so just stay tuned for that. So before I wrap up, just some quick comments on September 11th. Today is 9-11, 20 years since the Twin Towers went down and all those people lost their lives, and all I remember about that time was I was driving a beautiful sand beige Hummer H1 that I had just bought the week before, and this chaos was taking place and over the next 24 hours America came together it came together in probably the greatest way it ever has at least in my lifetime and you couldn't buy an American flag if you tried but I was able to find an enormous American flag and fly it over my Hummer for the next few months and frankly for a long time until the thing started to come apart and then I had to get new ones and it was something that wasn't fading for for a good year or more, I mean, people were still flying those flags. Everybody came together. Nobody was talking about politics and who they were voting for and what was happening here and what was happening there. It was just, we had one clear enemy and we were absolutely in alignment. Today, not so much. If you fly an American flag on your car, you might get some eggs thrown at you. It's gotten a little bit crazy. And as an ex-military veteran served since 80, from 88 to 1992 in the Air Force during the Gulf War, it's hard to see what's happened. So on this day, I would only say, remember those who gave their lives for our country, some who just simply went to work that day and found themselves in those towers or were on an airplane that didn't make it to its destination or the heroes that went in to rescue people that never came out and all the service members who went out to defend our country and stand up for what we believe in 
and set aside your politics. Set aside all the drama and don't get caught up in it. And if anything, let's all try to remember that we are in the greatest country in the world. And anybody who wants to argue that point, I'd be happy to do it, um, only if you're willing to lose that argument, because I did put on the uniform. And the way I feel about this is our country is not perfect, just like I'm not perfect. And every video I make is not perfect. And boy, are you guys willing to jump in the comment section to tell me that I'm not perfect and that I screwed up and that I was wrong about something. These are the same people that are beating the crap out of our country right now within our country, benefiting from our country. And I'll tell you, I quickly recognize that our country's not perfect, far from perfect, but better than any other country. So I forgive it when it goes through these weird periods. And rather than fighting with other people, I remove myself from the argument and the debates that make no sense. I re remove myself from all the vitriol, anger, and hate. And I simply talk about cars. And that's what I've been doing through all this political crap is talking about cars. Because one thing we all do is we connect on a very primal level when it comes to these cars. And it doesn't matter what political belief or what background you come from, we love cars. Maybe the Camaro people we don't get along with as much, but we love everybody else. Just kidding. So find your common ground with your fellow American and set aside your differences. And at the very least, just remember today remember what happened if you were around it's sad that my daughter wasn't here to see what happened but we've had her watch the documentaries so that it impacted her the same way and I'll tell you she bleeds red white and blue she is American to the core and I love her for that so please save your negative comments and just think positive live positively stay motivated get along with each other and please like and please subscribe. And I look forward to talking to you all in my next video. God bless America. Bye bye. Okay. Alright, have fun. Have fun. You keep an eye on her. Alright? If anything happens to her, I'm blaming you. Alright? <laughs> See you guys. Bye.